Hi, this is Jeff with ArmadillaPepper.com. Today, what we're going to do, and it's the first time we've uh, tried this, we're going to grill a pork loin. This pork loin is about a pound and a half, just a little bit less than a pound and a half, in this charbroil Big Easy oilless fryer. Um, now, you've, if you've seen any of our other videos, you may have seen where we have grilled the pork loin, but this is the first time that we've cooked it in the Big Easy oilless fryer. So this is uh, going to be quite simple. I simply uh, season the pork loin with the Four Rivers coffee rub. Uh, again, if you saw our other videos on grilling uh, pork loin, you'll know that this is my favorite uh, when it comes to pork loin. So I set this out about 45 minutes ago, let it come up to room temperature. I seasoned it at that time, and now I've just re-seasoned it before we put it in the Big Easy. Now, if you've never used one of these, they use the same type of propane as your propane grill. Uh, it's quite easy to operate. Just literally turn the gas on, and you will hear the flame come on. It's on now. And what there is, is there's a ring inside this. If you've not used one of these, it goes all the way around. There's a, whatever this is, an inch wall, maybe a two inch wall, and the flame is inside. Um, so all you need to do is pull out this basket. You want to insert the pork loin with the fat side up. And then we're just going to set it down in the Big Easy. We're going to cook the pork loin until it gets to 145 degrees. So what I will try to do is catch it when it's around 140, 142, somewhere in there, pull it out. We'll let it rest for 15 minutes so all the juices can redistribute back into the meat. While that is happening, the pork loin will continue to cook. Uh, what you want in the end game here is 145 degrees internal temperature. As I mentioned, it's our first time cooking a pork loin using this Big Easy. I'm expecting it to take 30 minutes to 45. I'll probably check around 20 to 30 minutes to see what temperature it's we're at. It's been 30 minutes, so I'm going to just check the temperature. Now you do need to be careful with this thing. It's, uh, obviously it's all metal and therefore it's hot. I'm just going to sit it out here. All right, it's already reading 142, 143. I'm going to pull it out. It's been 30 minutes, and we're just going to let it rest. That will allow the juices to redistribute, and the temperature will continue to rise over the next 10 to 15 minutes. Now while this guy is resting, it's still warm, I'm going to glaze it with pepper jelly. And I'm only going to do half because uh, I'm going to use this uh, uh, Pucker Butt Carolina Reaper pepper jelly. Uh, it, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Carolina Reaper, but it's the hottest pepper in the world. So I'm going to do half of it because my son uh, doesn't care for the spice. And this is a rather thin jelly, so it works quite nicely as a glaze. You can just brush it on. Like I said, we'll let that sit about uh, 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to cut this guy right here because I don't want to mix the pepper jelly glaze version, which is right here. Uh, it's really tender. I like to eat this cut really thin. All right, here's our pork loin. Um, I've got about half of it sliced up, uh, half with the uh, Carolina Reaper pepper. We're just going to give it a try. It's uh, very moist. You can see here even the juice still in the plate. Extremely tender. That coffee seasoning 
and the Carolina Reaper pepper jelly glaze. It's a great combination on this pork loin. Well, I really suggest you consider giving this a try. Again, my name is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper. You can check us out over at armadillopepper.com or see what we're up to on Facebook.